Hi and welcome to the next part of my uh, Witcher 3 walkthrough. This is the bit where you summon the Lubberkin and yeah, where he's buried. Anyway, I was having a lot of trouble getting through this section and it was because I had no health and it's really easy to get your health back. I just went out in the forest and tried to kill a bunch of wolves and stuff to get the meat to try and get my uh, energy bar up. But all you have to do, and everyone probably knows this but I didn't, is uh, go into the menu and go over to meditation and meditate for a few hours and you get all your health back. So I wasted a lot of time, but anyway. So now I've just got to uh, check out this burial site. By blood's power I summon you. With your name I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Lead me to those bound to you by blood. So now we've got to follow the little spirit baby, or Lubbockin, as they're called. And yeah, I fully advise meditating before you do it if you don't have full energy. Although you probably don't need that much, it's just when I tried to do it, I had absolutely no energy left. And the, the last uh, section I did only got through by the skin of my teeth and I had no energy, so this time it should be a bit easier. So I'm finding this game's got some really interesting type characters. I've never heard of a Lubbockin or a Botchling until now. I don't know if they're in other stories or if they're original to this story, but I'm really getting into the storyline. And I'm, I'm stoked now that I can get my energy back easily. It's going to make the game a bit easier for me. I also went to a uh, blacksmith and got a, some better weapons. I don't know if I've equipped them yet. But yeah... I was get one, one hit by one of these dudes last time I played was knocking me out and I kept trying to do it and now I've got full health it should be a little bit easier. Whoops, maybe not. Might have to meditate again. Now you can actually run past these guys but there's a second set of monsters coming up after this that you can't run past. So if you yeah, if you just want to run past these dudes, it might be a bit easier. I'm going to see if I can meditate. Might not be able to meditate right now. Oh, yeah, you can. You can meditate whenever you want. And now I've got my full energy back. The uh, Lubbockin's waiting for me. So that makes it heaps easier. Okay, where, where's this Lubbockin going? Ugh, sure wasn't lavender they kept in there. Might be worth looking around though. So that's how to follow the Lubbockin. Now I've got to search the area around the smokehouse using your witch essentials. So on Xbox you just hold down the left trigger and uh, stay within the yellow circle in the minimap. It's around here somewhere. Now I should remember because I actually have done this, but I don't remember. What am I looking for? Yeah. Okay. Yep, so you got to do a bit of invest investigation work and uh, check out all the things. So we found some change of clothes. It's a bit of uh, loot there. There's some footprints here. You've got to look at all this stuff to pass this bit. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. There's a horseshoe. One of them must have dropped it. Got a bracelet. I'm going the right way. He wants to show me something more. Okay, so now we got to follow the Lubbockin again. Looks like there's something here trying to... What is this thing? Ah! A big crab or something. Now 
And if you time your attacks alright, he actually levels up. Well, it gets a bit uh, tougher while he attacks, so it's good. Yeah, so it's worth trying to time your attacks correctly because uh, they become stronger. So let's follow this Lubbockan. So yeah, I haven't actually seen any of this yet because I've never had enough energy to um, pass that part. And it's quite annoying, so um, I recommend maybe saving now. I'm not sure if you can save right in the middle of a mission. You can save here, so um, yeah, it's probably worth saving because if you if something happens to you, you'll go right back to before the you've. Um, right back to the burial part of where the bottom was buried, which is a fair bit back, so you don't want to replay all that. So I'm glad I saved it now, because these are uh, some pretty big monsters around here. I might just try and run past them, because they, the first one's already taken a, a full half a bar, sorry, off, off me. So two more might actually do me in. Although the Lubbockin's not moving, so I've got to actually take them on. Level 4. Wow. One exploded another one, which is pretty handy. And somehow I got all my energy back, so that was really cool. Well, it's going to explode. So run away from them and they're going to explode. <clears throat> Hopefully this is the last one. Oh, I can see some more coming, I think. Still worth a close look. At least they don't attack in packs like the wolves. Oh, he's going to explode. Get away. Horse carcass. All right, may as well do some looting. What do we have here? have been here a while chewed on the saddle necrophages will eat anything these days so he's quite the private eye giant claws wasn't a necrophage made these marks horseshoes missing is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse head torn clear off takes incredible strength Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Wonder if it was another griffin. Trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. What? I better not better get this last beastie before I continue. Ah oh, no, it's gonna explode. Now can you loot them after they explode? Maybe you can't. Anyway, I've got nearly full health, so I'm happy. This little uh, Lubbockin's quite the adventurer. It's taking me all over the place. So again, might be worth saving again here. You just never know what's going to be around the corner. I'm going to quickly save it again. Okay, ready for the next bit. And if you if you haven't got full energy, it might be worth meditating now. Okay. So we might have to look for some more cr some more clues. Should we take a closer look. Who's that? At the room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. 
We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women, the Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure, not even passing through. Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, Mummy? Quiet, boy. Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough, no point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is high. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another type. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with the Baron. Why? Cause, cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. So it's true. What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, uh, for like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had risen high, and still it hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched him. But finally, they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. But then I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron. On the palms, inside. Burned? Like a cattle brand? Aye, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. He's hot and glowing, as if they burned with raw fire. Fine. What happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden. And then, from the woods, a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat, and before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly. It was the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. All right, I think that's enough info. Thanks for your help. The lady, she'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. All right, so I've done that mission, and uh, hopefully I don't have to follow the Lubbockan anymore. So I hope I've helped if you had any problems, or if you're just watching, hope you enjoy it. <laughs> and um, I'll have another video coming up soon, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye.